Hi, my name is Carrie Hope Fletcher and I have been making YouTube videos for seven years now. Most of you watching this will already know that. You will be here because you're a regular visitor to this channel and I thank you for your dedication and loyalty and support and love and kindness over the years. Cannot thank you enough for sticking with me for this long. But I feel like it's been a long time since I reintroduced myself to those of you who might be new. Or there might be a lot of people who want to subscribe but have kind of been put off the idea because I've been on YouTube for so long that the backlog of videos is just obscene. I think it's like 700 videos long now. So I feel like this video is a reintroduction to who I am, what I do, why I'm here. Firstly, let's start off with the basics. My name is Carrie Hope Fletcher. I am 25 years old. My birthday is October 22nd, 1992. So I will be turning 26 in a couple of months time. In a couple of months? In a month's time. And the reason I have no makeup on and I am in a dressing gown in a place that isn't my house or where I live. This is my dressing room at the Theatre Royal Haymarket where I am currently playing Veronica Sawyer in the London's West End in Heather's The Musical. Which I guess brings me onto the question of my occupation. I am an actress, singer, musical theatre performer and I have been doing this since I was seven years old but I am also an author. I have written four books. The first was a non-fiction book called All I Know Now taken from the blog of the same name that I started writing when I was... 21, 22 years old, 21 I think, about all of the stupid things I did as a teenager and what I know now in hindsight compared to when I was a teenager and I thought I knew everything. And the other three are novels. On the other side, All That She Can See and When the Curtain Falls, all of them within the realms of magical realism. For those of you newbies who have just joined us who might recognise my last name, I am one of two Fletcher siblings, my older brother being Tom from the band McFly. And his wife, my sister-in-law, is Giovanna Fletcher, the author. Now I'm going to move on to the questions on Instagram where I ask people to ask me what you would ask someone were you getting to know them. And whilst I answer these, I'm going to put my makeup on for the show tonight because I need to be in warm up in just over half an hour. What was your favourite subject? I'm guessing you mean at school. It's funny because I still think of myself as a teenager. I don't really think of myself as an adult human being. But when I think of the reality of the situation, I've actually been out of education for a decade because I left school when I was 16 years old and I'm almost 26. Considering I'm a musical theatre performer and an author, you could probably guess what my favourite subjects were, but I loved art, music, drama and English literature. But I guess the surprise subject that I always had a massive passion for was history. I loved history at school, specifically the Romanov family. I also have a great love of the animated movie Anastasia. That was like my pivotal childhood movie. So that's probably why when it came to learning about history at school, that was something that really sparked my interest. What is on your bucket list? Considering my last answer was to do with being interested in history in the Romanov family, it's unsurprising that something at the top of my bucket list is seeing the Winter Palace in St. Petersburg. I would stand at those gates and cry. It's something I've always wanted to see and one day when I get the time and the money, I'm gonna do it. Gonna do it. What is your guilty pleasure? Now I am a firm believer in never having to feel guilty for something that brings you joy. But to answer this question in the way that you meant it, not often do I ever watch a reality TV show, but Naked Attraction, Big Brother, every few years I really get hooked on. Great British Bake Off, it's really not often that I get hooked on something like that, but when I do, that's it, that's me gone, I'm all consumed. If you were to have any pets, what would they be and what would their names be? I am desperate for a Sphinx cat. I think they're the cutest things on earth. I love them so much and when I finally have my own house where I'm allowed pets, because currently I live in a flat where I'm not allowed any pets, I'm going to get a sphinx cat and I'm going to call him Cosmo. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? I find this question really hard to answer because I'm already very lucky to be doing what I've always dreamed of doing and so if I was doing exactly what I'm doing now in 10 years time, I'd be very happy if I could just continue writing books and performing in shows that I loved. You know, in 10 years time, I'd quite like to be married in a house of my own, maybe with kids. Yeah, 10 years time, yeah, I'll be like, yeah, I'd like to have kids by then, I guess. But I'm quite happy just plodding along the way that I am right now. What are your thoughts on life after death? That's a really good question. And if you have read my book on the other side, you kind of know what my thoughts are on life after death. I'm not a particularly religious person. I wasn't really brought up with a faith. I've kind of just grown up being taught that you need to try and be the kindest, 
best version of yourself that you can possibly be and that's all you can really do and that's that's what matters but i like this idea that we live out an afterlife at the age that we were the happiest or the place that we felt the most at home surrounded by the people who brought out the best in us whether i actually believe that's what happens to us when we die i don't know it's a nice idea it's a nice thought but i don't know if i genuinely believe that what matters to me is living this life to the best i possibly can now what happens later i'll worry about when i die <laughs> which song makes your heart feel happy What genre of music do you listen to? Again, I think it will be very unsurprising that my most listened to albums on my iTunes are musical theatre soundtracks. But with that being said, my favourite band is My Chemical Romance. What's your go-to cocktail? Good question, I do like a cocktail. Once upon a time, when I was on tour with the Adams Family last year, I asked for a gin and tonic. And the barman said to me, do you want a normal gin and tonic or a special gin and tonic? And I was like, a special one, but what is a special one? Please don't spike my drink. And it was a rhubarb gin with elderflower tonic and it changed my life. And I've never been able to find anywhere that does them as good as that place in Bradford of all places at this German beer house. It was amazing, amazing. Rhubarb gin with elderflower tonic, that is my answer. Favourite colour? My favourite colour is green. It used to be purple. I matured, now it's green. What is your star sign? I am a Libra, although haven't all of the star signs changed recently? Isn't that something that I read? Which I think then makes me a Virgo, but I'm a Libra. If you could tell your 15 year old self one thing, what would it be? Stop worrying so much. Seriously, I used to worry about everything. I used to cry if I forgot a textbook or if I forgot my homework. Uh, I just hated getting in trouble. Stop worrying, it's pointless. Worrying only means you suffer twice in the words of Newt Scamander. It's boring, worrying's boring, stop it. Stop it now. What is your favorite flower? I love a sunflower. Uh, you know, just because they look pretty, but also I just love the idea that they find the sun. Symbolic, I like it. Which Hogwarts house are you in? I am a Gryffindor. Every test I've ever taken has always come out Gryffindor. Although before Pottermore existed, I really wanted to be a Hufflepuff. But now I'm dating a Hufflepuff. So that's as good as, right? Are you keeping your short hair? For those of you that have just joined us, once upon a time I had very, very long hair and I cut it all off to raise money for Great Ormond Street and I donated the hair to the Little Princess Trust, but I got rid of 17 inches of hair. It was like super, super, super long. But when I cut it all off and looked in the mirror, I was like, oh, that's what I'm supposed to look like. Ladies and gentlemen, the warm-ups will commence at, uh, in approximately five minutes. The warm-ups will commence in five minutes, thank you. There we go, I think I'm just about ready for the show. Gonna hear a little spritz. I do wear glasses, these aren't fake. I wasn't wearing them at the beginning because I was about to put my makeup on, but for those of you that don't know, I wear glasses. Thank you so much for joining me for this Q&A. For you oldies who have been with me since the dawn of this channel, I hope maybe you heard something new that you didn't know, or maybe my answers have changed from seven years ago and I've given you a refreshed new answer. And for you newbies who have just joined, I hope you feel like you've gotten to know me or know me a little better. I never say this, and you probably won't hear me say this again for a very, very long time, but if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate you sharing it around and I feel like this is kind of the perfect video to say this in because it is a getting to know me video and so we might extend our hopeful community and our family a little bit wider. So I'd really appreciate you sharing this video if you liked it, but only if you liked it, obviously. I am on Twitter, at Carrie H Fletcher, but I've always been the most active on Instagram where I'm just Carrie Hope Fletcher. It's just my name, so it's really easy to remember. Um, Instagram stories, lots of posts all the time about being in Heather's, body positivity, about all the writing that I'm doing. I am, I'm just, I'm always putting crap on Instagram. That is always the place you will find me every day doing something. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you hopefully very soon.